Arup is a business that um, operates the planning, design and management of a hum whole number of projects around the world, in, largely in the built environment, in infrastructure and in the real estate world. And because we're very global and because we have a quite wide breadth of activity across a number of sectors, uh, we always find, of course, one part's up when another part's down. And so the overall global picture for Arup is actually not bad. We, we're not growing right now, but we're not shrinking particularly either. That conceals um, a, a picture which varies from region to region. I've just come back from China. I was in China last week. It happened to coincide with the uh, design festival in, in Beijing. And uh, our business there is absolutely thriving. Uh, we get new work uh, all the time. We're doing large transport projects. We're doing a new um, railway station in Tianjin that I also visited, for example. And so it's a thriving uh, activity for us. If you went there and I showed you, you wouldn't see any sign of recession whatsoever. On the other hand, uh, in Europe and UK, uh, the picture is not quite as buoyant. Um, we are concerned, perhaps, about replacing the projects as, they, as we run through them. But, of course, one of the merits of our business is part of it, at least the infrastructure part of it, generally has a long wavelength. And so uh, projects like the work we're doing at the Olympic Park, uh, like the work we're doing for Crossrail, um, like some of the work that we're doing for infrastructure, the Thames Tunnel, for, ex uh, for example, these are all projects which have a long wavelength and uh, they're not going to run out quickly.